voters. I, I, I would rank it at uh, number two. Number three would go to Kapsirat constituency, which is home to 74,903 registered voters. The constituencies of Ainab, Koi, and uh, Kesses uh, did not do very well on that front, and I think I would give them a tie. Uh, at number number five on the two of them. Uh, so this exercise began very early in the morning and among uh, those who were first uh, to vote here in the county of Orsin Gishu is Deputy President William Ruto who doubled as a candidate, a presidential candidate in this ongoing election. He voted at around uh, 6.30 a.m. Interestingly, Dan, immediately after he voted, he spoke to the media and one of his key areas that he touched on was seeking the residents of Orsin Gishu and indeed the rest of the country to come out in large numbers and vote. Whether that was effective, uh, we will wait for the tallying now to start coming in and we will see. So currently we have just a few persons who are holed up here when the exercise has been called to close by the IEBC and we expect that in an hour or so it will be finished a business. And now from all these polling centers, our attention now shifts to six areas done. These are the six slated constituency tiling centers where counting will begin and they will start streaming in the numbers that have registered on this particular day. After the six tiling constituencies give their numbers, we will then move to the county's main tiling center, which is at Capsaret constituency at the Eldoret National Polytechnic, where our plans are underway to be able to receive the numbers that will be recorded this evening. Just to note from here, we now join into the real matter of the day telling the numbers and then once the numbers trimming we will now do a comparison to understand how did the voters of Orsin Geishu County perform when it comes to taking to the ballot according to the IBC 2022 voter register Orsin Geishu County is home to close to half a million uh, Kenyans uh, registered here. And now, once uh, the tally is out, I would want to do even my own tally uh, from a personal perspective and come back to you, dear viewer, with an exact percentage of how many residents of Wasin Gishu County actually took to the ballot. Remember, it is very, very important uh, for the residents of Wasin Gishu to have voted, especially in terms of uh, the presidential candidate who is a son of the Northrift, William Ruto. This shows if uh, the home ground uh, support did not materialize to an extent of 90% and above, then there could be challenges in DP Ruto ensuring that he got us quite the bulk of numbers from his home county and then uh, move on to impress uh, the rest of uh, the counties. And I'm certain these are some of the concerns uh, the party of UDA will have with this particular county because UDA had banked on Wasin Gishu 100%. It is the home county of DP Ruto. He needed all the residents of Wasin Gishu who have registered as voters to come out and uh, vote. But as it is, we will continue, uh, Dan, to tell with the numbers and see how uh, the 